this is the orange box. We're on Xbox Series X taking a look at this great compilation that includes the entirety of Half-Life 2, Portal, and Team Fortress 2, and we're going to be showing off a little bit of each of them. Okay, so we're going to firstly show off how quicker the loading is in Half-Life 2. We're just going to be doing a random sort of part of the game to kind of show things off. So this does not feature auto HDR, but it does actually have an improved resolution quality, and the game actually does have a bit of a, a boosted FPS. And it does look really, really great. I'm actually quite impressed by the <laughs> the visuals of this one. They're actually really, really quite great. And uh, yeah, genuinely the visual kind of boost here does look fantastic. Oh, I'm absolutely keep getting hit by a train. But yeah, if you're not familiar with Half-Life, basically it's one of the most well-known and I guess joked about games of all time. So basically, you know, everybody wants Half-Life 3 and we never know if that's ever going to happen. But everybody just absolutely loves this title and considers it to be one of the, the best games and narrative setups of, of all time. Wow, that's kind of cool. So anyways, uh, the second game, hopefully we're not going to spoil anything, just kind of show off a bit of what it has to offer. It's very cool, you've got your Freeman here, it's kind of an interesting character. And you're going around trying to deal with this, I don't know, I guess you could say, occupation that's going on. You're fighting against it, and it's got this whole overarching sort of narrative that's going on, which I think is kind of epic, needless to say. It had really cool physics for its time really neat moments throughout and uh, yeah it's kind of just a great thing to have within the package because I know it's such a, a a legendary sort of release and I think it still holds up fairly well today even in regards to the, the physics and the type of gameplay that is provided within this game so that's kind of cool oh, we are definitely dealing with a lot of enemies at this point so yeah it just kind of looks a little bit better and have that guy just exploded <laughs> it looks a little bit better and handles a little bit better than it did back in the day which is kind of cool so yeah it's definitely got a unique story i mean the first half-life i think particularly is rather interesting because in that one it's sort of all in this kind of location underground and it, it kind of i guess you could say sort of started the whole uh, really heavy cinematic aspects in gaming that we have a lot more of today which I think is kind of interesting and then this game kind of came a little bit later and did actually really revolutionize certain elements of the industry and really changed things quite a bit and I'm still pretty certain that this is one of the most uh, well-loved and uh, you know kind of intriguing games of all time I suppose just due to the the whole mystery around kind of wanting more of it and not necessarily ever seeing that actually come to life which is kind of interesting right I mean I still think it's got pretty great level design uh, neat action points some interesting enemies and of course just like a really heavy-handed focus on like I guess physics and animation destruction in this one it's kind of a little bit crazy who is black am I getting it from behind or below I'm just kind of a little surprised that I'm getting shot. I kind of want to kill who's ever doing that. Oh, down there. Okay. But yeah, we're just going to be showing off kind of a bit of it, just so you get, again, like an idea of what the game is kind of running like and how it's looking, which I do seriously think is absolutely stunning. I mean, visually, this looks remarkable. And I think, you know, just kind of how well this was done, it's still something that is worth your time if you never played it and you get all of the different parts we're not going to be showing those we're going to obviously switch over to uh, portal and then a little bit to fortress but i just kind of wanted to really give it a showcase of sort of just a, a little part of this so you get an idea of, of what it's like and i mean this isn't even like the fun weapons or anything like that there's a lot more to it but just you got to remember for its time this was such an impressive experience and the fact that you can play this on Xbox still today and it looks this great is kind of, uh, I guess you could say, a, a little bit amazing, needless to say. I, I don't know, I mean, it's, it's Team Fortress, or <laughs> it's Team Fortress. It's uh, part of the orange box, which is really cool. And I think at this point, 
we should switch over to Team Fortress and Portal because I obviously have it on my mind and we don't want to spoil anything too heavy story-wise. So this is Portal, the original Portal, uh, which is actually kind of a really interesting and unique game. Now, it's not quite as exciting as Portal 2 was. I think Portal 2 really, really set the bar for like storytelling and elevating these characters to new high points, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, it's just kind of a really neat puzzle game with a heavy sort of, I guess you could say, narrative element to it. So you're doing all these different puzzles and you're playing as Chell and then in the background you've got GLaDOS, this kind of twisted robot that's sort of making fun of you and you know, you're kind of just dealing with that. And then when you get to the second portal, it's obviously a lot more complex and interesting in regards to the setup of the narrative and what you're sort of doing here so i mean if it's not pretty clear you're basically creating portals and doing that in order to solve the puzzles that are available within the room and i'm just kind of like really again blown away by the the quality of the environments and the texturing the, the gun itself if you just look at it, it looks kind of fantastic so obviously as you can see you can only do certain surfaces and then you solve things by throwing cubes through stuff or also blasting things i think i might have no okay so then you have the cube but it's just kind of like a really interesting sort of puzzle one so you can kind of follow that and then you can see how it goes down and then bounces kind of back which is a little uh bunny needless to say oh sorry my bad i was supposed to put the blue one there but yeah, it's just kind of a, a very different sort of game that I think is definitely worth your time. I mean, it's also like a standalone kind of game, so you can experience it that way as well, which is kind of neat. But I, I do think if you can play Portal 2 that you should definitely give it a whirl because you might find it to be you know, rather intriguing from a you know, story perspective and everything like that. I do think it's actually quite a, a wonderful experience. Even this one is pretty good too. It's just not necessarily quite as long as, you know, Portal 2 is, and it's not quite as in-depth from a story standpoint. Really? Unbelievable. And this one can really kind of mess with your, your mind too, as you're seeing, like, uh, sort of how the portals go and building speed. I might just have to actually drop myself down in there to do this right as I'm totally messing this up. And then there's the whole companion cube thing and there's this aspect of cake and all that. It's it's kind of fun, you know. It's, it's got a lot of weird sort of quirks to it and strange things going on here. Okay, so that's kind of set up. And then we have to actually kind of go through. I've just been slowly sort of taking my time through this, if that wasn't clear. Just kind of having a good time with it. But yeah, I think with that, we've kind of shown off a bit of Portal and what the visuals are kind of like. You just do a bunch of different rooms like this, and then there's a little bit of hidden things behind everything. And then we'll go on to the last game in the pack that I want to show, which is Team Fortress 2 and an absolute gem. Hopefully we'll be able to find some players on oh, yeah, performance uh, yeah not bad though so this is team fortress 2 which is one of my favorite smaller games that really did get neglected on xbox on pc it's absolutely flourished it's continued to get support but on the xbox it's basically all but dead luckily i was able to join a team fortress discord randomly and jump in and talk with someone and get someone to play against in the game within five minutes, which is absolutely crazy. So thanks to our pal, as I'm sure you'll see show up while we go and battle against them before hopping in so that we can actually show off Team Fortress 2. I don't really think you'll be able to find anyone when playing, but if you have a group of friends you want to play with, you know, it's still pretty awesome. I did notice some like performance type pickups though. Uh, while playing, I don't know, maybe that's just while I was playing, the recording is going to show otherwise, but yeah, it's actually looking really great, the uh, the visual quality here, it looks absolutely fantastic, and it's such a shame that we didn't get, um, you know, updates and support for Team Fortress 2, I'd love it if someday they would go and release like a second orange box, or maybe even this as a free-to-play game 
on Xbox would be really cool, or even a paid one would be neat as well with all the, the new features and changes. But yeah, it's just kind of a fun game still. If you've never heard of Team Fortress, it's a multiplayer focused game where you've got kind of two sides battling with a variety of characters across some objective setups. You're basically filling a particular class niche, so the scout runs really fast, it's got the bat, you know, kind of blasts quickly, double jumps. And then there's like the engineer, which builds like turrets and other things that help the team move along. And then there's the heavy, which is also always great with the medic. They kind of go hand in hand. So there's actually like a lot of game meta in regards to how certain characters play off one another and how that factors into the actual gameplay experience. But yeah, it, it does look really fantastic here. I'm pleasantly surprised by what it was able to deliver uh, quality-wise. It's just a shame that there really aren't people playing the game, and I've tried it different hours, and it's just kind of uh, maybe a complete ghost town, quite honestly. Which again is uh, disappointing, needless to say, because this is such a fun multiplayer experience. But you know, the lack of support and stuff, and the fact that this is quite an old game at this point, that makes complete sense. Still, I had a blast playing it, it was really fun, even though we were doing like a 1v1 kind of thing, and I think they were making it fairly easy on me, although we had some pretty close uh, pyro matches here. It was still it was still good to jump in and take a look at this. So overall, the Orange Box is a really interesting game that I definitely, well, game compilation that I definitely loved from back in the day. I think if they were to do like an updated version of it, that would be really cool, but you know, as it stands, it's still a really good selection of games, obviously with Half-Life 2 being, I guess you could say, the primary of it at this point in time due to it being you know, Half-Life availability on, pla on the console platform. And Portal's cool too, but that's also standalone. Anyways, Team Fortress 2, Orange Box, pretty cool.